You are now listening to the sound of my disembodied voice. It will serve you no purpose to look for me, for this is a voice from the past. I bid you welcome to my cabinet of perturbation. It is my study of the human psyche, specifically yours. A set of recordings have been prepared to chaperone you through the chambers ahead. There are a few parts to this study, and it is up to you, not only to pass, but to figure out what elements are important. Please go on. Move into the next chamber. Just remember, they can all be safe. There is always a way. If you could help me, help me, please help me. Can you hear me? It's not too late to set things right. Anyone there?
Congratulations for coming this far. I'm so excited for you. I do hope you managed to save Monsieur Fournier. He was a friend and a colleague of my papa, you know. Friendly fellow, a real bon garçon, but frail of mind. He puts up an impressive front, but it is all an act, I assure you. Please, go on. We are just getting started. On this next piece, you should be looking for some divine inspiration. Time to delve into your spiritual side. What do you see? Is the man begging for mercy, or is he being blessed? Perhaps both. Father used to say there were no right answers. Have the light to guide you. Who are you? Who's there? You'll burn for this. Look out for your feet. That demon. She may still be close. Father David with his god now? Maybe you helped him there. Don't you worry. I'm sure he didn't have a family. He probably wasn't even all that well liked. With the current political climate, I'm surprised someone hasn't killed him already. We can't all be saved. Some don't even want to be saved. Yes, that is a comforting thought. Saves us from trying. Thank you. 
sure you have figured out how it all works by now. Are you enjoying my quips? I think they are quite clever. Not that I was ever much of a conversationalist. Poetry has always been my forte. But I digress. You should press on. It will all be over soon. Also, the police are here. Maybe they can help you. managed to save him or not. I know very little about him, but surely he had a family, don't you think? Poor, poor, fatherless children. But he falls on his own sword. His kind is not meant to come for people like me. Laws are made for credits. The aristocracy doesn't need to know right from wrong. We are always right. my cabinet. I wish I could tell you how you did, but alas, this is a recording. You will have to figure it out all by yourself. Did anyone survive? The doctor? The priest? Or perhaps the policeman? Who was allowed to live? 
why. You should really reflect on these past events and consider what they meant to you. What you have learned about your true nature. Father never knew me. He thought he did, but then he was frightened. And nothing was ever the same again. I can still see him, lying there on the floor. He looked so surprised. The star-shaped soapstone stained by his blood fell to the floor with a sonorous thud. Blame me not, for I was but a child. With careful ambition, I dared a smile. Rest in peace, Papa. This was the best one yet. So elaborate. It's just too much. Enough of this. Get it, Justine. Well done, child. God be praised. You have saved the child. Open the door. Hey, you! Almost free! Come on, get us out of here! It's already locked, but you can never be too certain. I really should keep this door locked. Mademoiselle Justine, are you down there? Is everything all right? Of course, Clarice. I'm quite all right. Is everything ready for tonight? Yes, the goose is ready any minute now. The guests should be arriving within the hour. Did I hear voices from downstairs? I certainly hope not. Oh, silly me. <laughs> yes, silly Clarice. <laughs> 